Hello everybody and welcome back today I'm going to teach you how to do a line trees door. So as you saw in the final result this is it once again. Once I'm going to press my button the door is going to open and I think that this looks a little bit more realistically than the one with boxes. So if you want to see how this is done just follow me along in this tutorial. So let's just start off in our character having an input action mapping. So in order to get one of those, go to edit right here, project settings, let it load, go to input, make sure you have action mappings and not axis mappings, click on this plus sign, give it a name, give it, give it a button and that's it, no need to save. Okay, then make sure you get that into your event graph. And now I'm going to spawn a line trace. So this is a function that I've did, so it's going to be easier for me, so I'm not going to need to just make this line trace every time. Okay, so here we have uh, line chase by channel, we have our camera, get our location, plug that into the start, get a forward vector, multiply that with a float, uh, add these numbers up and then plug that into the end. So this is going to set the orientation and the location of our line trace. Then here um, to actors to ignore, make an array and plug, uh, plug in self and don't mind my actor right here, that's not going to be useful. And then here the return node, I have a branch called return value and an out hit, which is a hit result called out hit. Okay, but as well, if you want to do this easier, just copy this and collapse that to, into a function. Okay, then what you want to do is to get out of, out of the return value, get a branch and plug that into the condition. Then if this is true, what you want to do is to get from the out hit, get, our, get the break hit result and get hit actor. And then what you want to do is to cast to our line trace door. So this is how my blueprint is called. So just create one for now and leave it like that. Then here we are going to have a custom event. So go once again into your door and just create, uh, get here, create custom. Actually no, it's just add custom event. Just create it, give it a name and get in it in here. Okay, so now let's set up our custom event. So what we want to have here is a do once. So the reason why we are going to use this is that uh, so we cannot spam this. Because if we would not have this, we could just spam it and it would look bad. Okay, as you can see, this might get blocked here. Yeah. So this is why we are using one uh, do once. Make sure that we are not getting any bugs. All right. Then what we want to do is to get a timeline, mine is called rotate time. So what it's going to do is going to basically, it's like the event tick. So why we are arranging this timeline is because we have this node here, rotation interpolate two, which is going to perpetually rotate an object around an axis. So as you can see here, at my door, the Z axis is around this corner right here, so it's basically like the rotation axis of the door. So this way, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis and what you need to do is to get the current world rotation and get the get the world delta seconds. This is as well if you're going to get event tick and you're going to store the delta seconds into, some, into a variable, but this is going to be better for the frame rate and you're not going to need to use a variable for nothing. Okay, and then we need to set the world location of the static mesh. And now let me show you the timeline. And actually, no, we are using the timeline because you need to update the world lock rotation every frame. So this is the basic of uh, interpolation in nodes, in node editor. Okay, so back into my timeline. Here what I have are two keyframes that are being played over two over two seconds, one at the time zero and one at the time two, with both having the value two. Uh, actually, the both have having the value of five. Okay, then we want to have a delay, which is going to basically be the time until uh, until this door gets closed once again. And then here again we have a timeline and make sure you have here play from start so you're going to make sure that this is not going to have any bugs. Okay so this is again the same timeline, 2 seconds, 
uh, zero times zero time two, but this time the value are the value is ten. But again, this could have been two. Uh, this could have been five as well. So let me change those. All right. Then again, we need to set the word location, and this time. Remember that here we had the value 90. This time we, we want to have the value 0. Okay, so this is pretty much the blueprint. One thing that I want to test is what happens if I'm going to rotate this. So exactly as I thought, this is going to have an error, but I think I can solve this. So in, instead of set world rotation, let's get set relative rotation. So set relative rotation, okay, this is back to the update, this in here, and one thing that I forgot to say is that you should plug the finished from the last timeline into the reset from the ones. Okay, so again, just copy this node, delete this one, okay, paste it, this goes in here, this in here, the return value in the new rotation, okay, and this in here, and let's see if this is going to work right now. Okay, so it seems that it is not working. Okay. Alright. So I'll come back when I'm going to be done with it. Okay guys, I'm back. I got it working now. So what I've did is that I added two, ar two arrows. One that has 90 degrees on the z-axis and one that has no rotation at all. And instead of having a value right here on the target, I got the first arrow and the word rotation and applied it into the target, uh, the first one, and then I got the second arrow which had no rotation at all and then plugged that into the target. And now, as you can see, this is working just fine, looking pretty good. The only one thing that I don't know if it's working, if I'm going to rotate this upwards, so let's test it out. So it is going to work, but it is going to look weird right there, but usually <laughs> doors are used so they are staying like this, not upwards. So guys, thanks for watching. This was pretty much all for this tutorial. I hope, as always, that you liked this video and that you enjoyed it. And I hope that you learned something new from this tutorial. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It, ma it means a lot to me. And guys, until next time, goodbye.